What's up OBS Ninja fans? Are you using OBS Ninja group chat with the director panel? And are you curious about some more advanced or hidden features specifically around how to control the guest? If you didn't catch my previous content around the Elgato stream deck, the MIDI parameter, and how to control just a director at the push of a button, check it out here. Now, imagine yourself even more control over your guest at the simple ease of a push of a button. Are you interested in learning more about OBS Ninja and these features? Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification button. Let's get started. Now this is gonna be a really quick tutorial. I've set up four to five things already to get us running. If some of these are a little advanced for you, take a look at my previous one on how to set up the MIDI plugin specifically for OBS Ninja and your Stream Deck. I'll drop the links below and also, I'll include it up here. For the first thing, I have a group chat set up already, and I've added a user to that. So you see that I am in the director's room. I do have the MIDI parameter added, and MIDI equals four, which can be found in the version 16 release notes. If you didn't catch our version 16 release notes with Steve, take a look here. Here's myself added as a separate user, as a guest. You're going to see some of these controls really get put to use and how they work with a guest. Back on the director, I'm all set up and ready to go. We have our version 16 release notes, but something's missing from here, and that's the command 111. 111 actually controls it for the guest, while 110 controls it for the director. Also, I have a troubleshooting monitor uh, page up here. It's called MIDI Monitor, and this really helps you try to figure out what commands are being sent, not only from your Stream Deck to the Elgato. And the last thing we have is we've got to configure our Elgato to go ahead and communicate. Open up the configuration and let's get started. Now, if you didn't catch that previous tutorial, like I said, it'll be in the description below. I have a couple buttons already set up. Typically, I like to start with a plain page. Here, here I've added the mini button or the mini plugin. If you come over to more actions, type MIDI, you're gonna see one here for the MIDI button. Install that one to get you started. We're only using one feature or one button out of this, so I'm sure there's plenty of others available that I haven't tested or played around with. Drag the mini CC, and I'm gonna drag four of these onto the screen. Four of the things that we're gonna configure is the mute, the transfer, the solo talk, and the hang up. These are all for the director to talk to the guest. First one, I'll configure, then I'll come back and do the rest, and we'll wrap things up. Let's talk about that mute. As a director, you'd like to mute the guest, because trust me, I know it happens. After I enter mute here, I do like to kind of minimize it and lower it down. And one of the cool features that I have is an awesome graphic. If you see that one, I've got another one for this. And if you're interested in the graphics, maybe I'll make them available free. Comment down below if you'd like me to post them and make them available to everybody. I'll also include the graphics designer because I can't design myself. Now I'll add that right there from a file. I have a couple of them. I have this one. Maybe I want to do the OBS Ninja one. Actually, I kind of like that one. So we'll go with that. And you can add these for the rest. I'm going to continue on how we configure it. Leave MIDI channel one there. The MIDI control change. When I said the other one in the director was 110, this is 111 to control the guest. Leave the single value. Here's the value that's going to be changing. For mute, we'll put in number two. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, going back. Now the last thing we need to do is under setup, there's a virtual port. It should say anything you'd like. I like to put mine as Stream Deck, but it's not actually communicating directly with the Stream Deck. It's just a virtual port for communication purposes. I learned that out. The last thing we need to do is test this out. What do you think? Is it gonna work? Let's press that button. If you look in the director panel, it says unmute. That means I'm muted. But if you come back to the guest, it looks like he's still talking. Well, guess what? They don't know they're being muted. The director muted them and they're still continuing the talk. Now, maybe in the future there needs to be an indication that director muted you or however it be. Remember, this is all testing in beta and there's some really cool features about OBS Ninja. You can actually 
uh, go to GitHub and put some you know, feature requests in there. It's pretty cool. Steve is an awesome developer at this. Now moving back to the director panel, you notice that uh, we needed the option for unmute. I can press it and now I've unmuted the guest. Okay, I'm gonna configure the other three buttons and then we're gonna wrap up this tutorial. Now that I have the remaining three all set up and configured, I'll walk through them and we'll do the test. The remaining three were transfer, solo talk, and the hangout. For transfer, the value will be zero. Now remember the mid control change is 11. For solo talk, the value is five. The solo talk is between the director and the guest individually. And then the hang up button, obviously that feature is see ya guest. Okay, before I get to those, I wanna take a look at the MIDI monitor, you know, troubleshooting page that we I brought up here. What you see on this one is the stream deck, which is the virtual port that we have named, the control change, which is 111, and then the value, zero through eight. Now there are a couple of numbers that don't uh, have anything assigned to them just yet, but they possibly will in the future. I think it's now it's time to play with some of those. The very first one I would like to do, let's do the solo talk. I have the solo talk. From here, I am the director. I'm communicating directly with the guest. We are having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and nobody else can hear what's going on. What about transfer? Now, I think a transfer button as a really cool feature from going from a green room to a production. Here I am, I did the solo talk. I said, hey, guess what? You're gonna be moving on to the production room and I'm gonna be transferring you right now. Go ahead and click that transfer button. Now it does have to have the same password, but uh, I can have two directors set up or myself on another one. It gets a little difficult to manage, but you go ahead and you transfer that guest over there. Pretty cool feature. Now the last one is the hang up button. And I think that's really great because if you want to quickly press the hang up to get rid of a guest, we can do that one. Before I press that button, if you want to see more videos around OBS, OBS Ninja, don't forget to check out my playlist, but also hit that like, subscribe, and notification. Don't forget to comment down below if you're interested in the graphics or if there's a specific OBS Ninja video that you're looking for. Let's go ahead and test that hang up button. Oh, are we sure we want to disconnect the user? Yeah, let's disconnect them. Bam. They are gone. If we come back to this, we'll probably see the wave. See ya. That's a really cool feature, and I'm glad Steve added those. Until next time.